Welcome back everyone, and today I have a fun one for you. We're gonna be making ninja style balaclavas. And this is a great sewing project for all skill levels. It's super easy to make and it can be a great gift. And I'm gonna give you key tips throughout the video to make your balaclava turn out professional. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to grab the download link so you can follow along easily. And with all that being said, let's get started. So for this project, you don't really need a lot of supplies. You're gonna need your fabric, your cord, your cord stoppers, and your eyelet. Starting off with the fabric, I'm gonna recommend grabbing a sweatshirt fleece, a standard fleece, or Sherpa. And I'm gonna be using the Sherpa. It's a super warm, fluffy style fabric. It's stretchy, and it's just great for this project. As far as the cord and the cord stoppers, you can just use a parachute cord or any style of cord will do. And then the stoppers, there's a wide selection of stoppers you can use. And I'm also gonna show you another fun little accessory you can add to the cord later in the video. You also need two eyelets. I'm using a 5 16th eyelet. This is on the bigger side. You can go smaller. As long as the cord fits through the eyelet, you're good. And lastly, your printable pattern. And after printing your pattern, the best thing to do is to cut off the top and the side. And by cutting off the top and the side, it'll allow you to overlap the pattern pieces really easily. And be sure to cut on the outside of the dash line when it comes to the hood opening. And after cutting, you should end up with one mask panel and one hood panel cut on the fold. And before we get started, for this project, we're gonna be using a serger. Sergers are great for stretchy knit fabrics. They're gonna allow the fabric to stretch and the thread not to break. They also cut and clean up the edges as you're sewing. I highly recommend using a serger for this project, but if you don't have one, it's totally fine. I'm gonna show you another method for sewing stretchy knit on your domestic sewing machine. Switch your machine to a zigzag stitch with the higher width and stitch length. And by doing this, it will allow the thread to stretch with the fabric. And either method works great, I just don't want you to feel left out if you don't have a serger. First off, we're going to mark the eyelet position on both sides. And once it's marked, grab your eyelet, cut a hole, and feed the eyelet through the hole. Add the eyelet backing, and we're installing them with a standard hammer die. Place the hammer on the back and hammer it into position. And repeat this process for the other side. Lay the hood panel out flat, fold it in half with the right sides together, and sew along the back arched edge. If you don't have a serger, you can use a zigzag stitch and stitch at a quarter inch seam allowance. And if you are using Sherpa, fabric is a little bit thicker, so I recommend going slow and using a heavier needle. This will make it much easier to sew. After sewing, go ahead and trace the hood opening hemline, and you want the edge to fall on the inside of the eyelet. Pin it the same distance all the way around. And before we start sewing, I'm going to show you two different techniques, so you can either use a cover stitch or a double needle. The double needle is on the right and the cover stitch is on the left. And the double needle for domestic machines will give you a professional look in double stitch and also the ability to stretch. And the cover stitch machine does the same thing, but it's a more professional store-bought look and this is what's used on most products in the industry. And I'm going to be using the cover stitch sewing machine for the video. I want to promote better sewing and how to take your sewing to that next level. But if you don't have either method, it's totally fine. I just recommend doing a zigzag stitch because this is stretchy fabric. And if you pull it too hard with a regular straight stitch, it'll snap the thread. And it's best to try to sew directly on the edge that's folded over on the inside. Next, we're going to do the same thing for the bottom edge. Roll it inside a half inch with the wrong sides touching. Pin it down and sew all the way around the outside edge. And again, I'm going to be using the cover stitch machine but feel free to use any method that works best for you. Main goal is to keep a nice straight consistent stitch all the way around the bottom edge. Moving on to the mask panel, grab your mask panel, fold the top edge over about a half an inch and add a stitch. And you can use a cover stitch or a zigzag stitch. Just try to sew directly on the inside edge. After stitching the top edge, we're gonna place it on the inside of the hood and try to line it up evenly on the bottom half. We're gonna use the pins as guides so we know where to stitch. And I'm gonna be using a zigzag stitch to attach the mask, but you can also use a cover stitch machine if you prefer that. And the nice thing about the Sherpa is that the stitch hides under the fluff. For the best looking results, try to just make it an even stitch all the way around the bottom edge. And this part can be a little bit tricky, but just do it a few times and you'll really master it. Next, grab your cord and a safety pin. Attach your safety pin to the end of the cord. Feed it into your eyelet and just work it all around that edge and back out the other eyelet. Pull as much cord as you want out and even up the ends. I'm using parachute cord so I like to light the ends, it seals them off and then we're going to go ahead and add our stoppers. And lighting up the ends makes it easier to slide these stoppers on. And for an extra little look you can add some cord accessories. These are best to add before you add the cord stoppers but it's something just a little extra to add and these come in all different styles. And do one final look around, make sure that all your hems are down and your stitches are good. 
And there you have it, your balaclava is complete. I hope you enjoyed this project and yours turned out just as good as mine. And like always, thank you so much for watching and supporting the channel, it means so much. And if you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe if you wanna see more content like this. I'm gonna be adding more warm stuff as the season goes on. And if you ever have an idea for something you want me to make, definitely send it my way, I'll make it happen for you. But until then, I'm gonna keep the videos coming at you, so I'll see you next time.